Hello everybody, I'm here at the Tractor Bob's open house and I'm so lucky to have Brian with us today here from Altos. He's our sales rep and what is, what's your position with Altos? I'm a district sales manager. He's a district sales manager and his knowledge on this product is just fantastic. So we're going to get some expertise from you today. We so hope. I, <laughs> I got a couple questions for you if you don't mind sure. me asking. Yeah. Okay, so the first question I got for you is uh, tell me more about this brush hog deck that we got on this Altos mower and uh, how, how the decks work on the Altos. How the decks work is they are interchangeable. We have a finish cut deck and we also have this all-terrain deck which is essentially a brush hog. The brush hog, uh, the discharge just drops the cuttings. The breakaway blades, if you run into a rock or a stump or something like that, will just snap back away, very similar to a brush hog. The finish cut deck will give you a premium quality Cut. Right. They are interchangeable. You can go from one to the other. Um, typically what someone would do is have a little cart. You put the cart in there. You take the weight off of it. There's some linkages that you just remove the belts, the linkages, roll them out, roll the other cart uh, with the finish cut deck or the other deck that you're putting on and reattach it. It's really quite simple. Awesome. And the finish mower deck actually has recessed wheels inside of it as well. Those recessed wheels on the finish mower deck, what, is that, what does that do for the finish mower? When you're hitting a bump or getting some undulation, it gets the, the uh, movement of the deck closer to the blades, which gives you a, a more even cut. So I've reviewed the 354, and I'm going to probably come up with a video for you guys on this mower as well. Uh, and I probably won't do the 2019 766 because we have the 2020s in here now. But what's the difference between the 2019 766 and the 2020 766? There are quite a few uh, minor changes within the body that you would never be able to see, but they've uh, improved some welds, uh, increased the size of some of the bolts and some of the things that uh, hold the deck into place. Um, just to make sure, it's not like we had a problem, but just to make sure that we're building the toughest machine that we can. The major improvement is the new SmartTrack Pro that we went to. And there's a couple things on here that are really uh, interesting and, and a positive improvement. Uh, the keyless entry uh, allows you to put in whatever code that you want for the start so you never have to lose a key. There can't be any water getting into the mechanism and, and shorting it out. So it takes care of all of that. You put in your own key. The dealers will have their own code that they can always access so they don't need to get your private code no matter what it was to get it started. The other big improvement is the soft start PTO control. Uh, especially with the all-terrain deck, there was quite a violent action when you put the PTO on. And uh, now with this, this takes a lot of that violent belt movement away and starts it at the optimum speed to get the blade started. Um, there's also a setting which is the perfect place to start the PTO which we've never had before and that's other uh, another nice improvement okay so yeah it, this white arrow yep, right there right there awesome and as always they do that they do that graphic that graphic notation in alto style really clean really simple um, so the next question I have for you is this is this torque flex because I don't really understand exactly how it works and from what you were telling me earlier, it's in more than just the front forks here. The nature of the track makes it a smoother ride to begin with. If you have a wheeled product, you're going to go up on every bump and you go down in every hole. Now you've got this 18 to 20 inch uh, spread on the track. You're going to span more of those hills. You're going to span more of those holes. You're going to get a smoother ride. The other part that is the star of the suspension system is the 12-way adjustable suspension seat. On itself, this thing will give you an incredible ride. You set it to your weight, and after that, it just takes care of itself. So the suspension seat, clearly the star of the show, that along with the tracks, you're going to get a very smooth ride. To take out some of the chatter, some of the things that happens, especially on the roads, uh, these are called elastomers. They're like a little softer uh, rubber material that just takes that chatter out of the front tires and that takes the vibration out of your uh, chassis, which gives you a smoother ride. In addition to that, you have six smaller elastomers through the bed of the mower 
and again, just taking out some of that little bit of uh, vibration that may come because of the extreme uses that this machine is built for. There's four additional ones on the motors to take the motor vibration out as well. And there's also, new to 2020, a rubber mat. Uh, it looks very nice, it keeps it nice and clean, but that also takes a little bit of that vibration out on your feet. Okay, awesome. So yeah, in the 354 review that I did, I noticed the only critique I had was that there was no rubber mats, but it wasn't so much a critique as a design decision because I figured to, because of the application, you guys made that decision not to put in the rubber mats. But now you're saying the addition of the rubber mats actually adds to that anti-vibration that you get as well. So Correct. It's, it's not just to give you more grip, which it absolutely does, uh, but it's actually going to cause some more anti-vibration. Anti yes, so, it has wanna, a function. Very okay, much so. and I want to make sure I get this right because this is pretty significant to me, I think, that these true torque flex uh, uh, dampers essentially are with are also embedded six to eight times six times in the chassis six times in the chassis four times, times four times on the motors four times on the motors yep okay. and then your front forks okay yeah so I I when when I drove this thing over here and the few times that I've tested this they are really really smooth to drive especially once you get that out there on the grass. Really, really nice ride, and I assume that that just has to do with all that suspension that you got going on. That has to do with all this suspension. It also has to do with the bigger footprint that we talked about earlier, where you're spanning the bumps. You're not necessarily going up and down on every single bump. Yeah. So has the footprint gotten bigger since last year? No, the okay. footprint is the same size as last okay. year. Excellent. So, um, and now I'm going to ask you a couple questions about just some just some common questions that we get from customers. Okay. The main thing is, is this going to tear up my, my lawn? The answer to that, to be perfectly truthful, would be yes, if you turn improperly. It's a little bit of a learning curve. You have to take a little wider berth. You have to take more of a three-point turn and keep the tracks moving. If you turn and one track is stationary, you are going to tear that up. If you take a little wider berth, keep the tracks moving, you'll find it's not much different than a wheeled zero-turn lawnmower. Okay. Awesome. So there's, there's, a, there's a finesse to it. There's a saying. little bit of a finesse when you're needing to turn, but the, the weight of the machine has a much bigger footprint, so the ground disturbance is minimalized. A couple more questions. These arm controls right here, are they adjustable up and down? These? These guys right here. Yes. Yes. So okay, if so you yeah. get a bigger guy, you can move them out, or if it's a say a female user, I'm not trying to be sexist, but you can make them smaller and tighter, and yes. And is there anything about your arm controls that are, that's better than the competitors? Or are they- You know, I, I honestly can't tell you why they're better, Philip, mm -hmm. but you will go out there and find them to be uh, more responsive or as responsive as anything that's in the industry. Yeah, they're, they're really responsive. Yes. And you, and you notice when you're, when you're operating it yes. that, the, that the arm controls are yeah. really, really responsive. Yeah. And that's one of the first things that you should be, I mean, aside from your engine, aside from the overall build and the deck that you're getting, those arm controls, when you have good control over your mower, you know that you're getting something quality. And I think it's essential because these machines, especially with the tracks, are made for uh, a more extreme uses. So you want to be responsive. There's, okay. uh, you know, there might be a ruts or, or stumps or things that you come upon and you want to be, have an immediate uh, response. Okay. And then one more thing. What's this, what's this pedal for? This is just the release. Okay. So, th so this one will take the weight off of it. This will just release it. So then it will go to whatever height that you have it adjusted to. The reason we have this on this particular mower, again, extreme uses, rough terrain. Now you can float that deck a little bit if you're going up over some hills. Instead of scalping as you're going over, you can just kind of lift the deck up and, and massage it over the top of it. Excellent. Awesome. And yeah, so this is this is Brian with Altos. We thank you so much for being here at our open Appreciate house at Tractor Bob's. Is there anything you want to let the people know before uh, we sign off here? Buy Altos, go Altos. <laughs> Buy Altos. Definitely let these guys be one of your contenders. If you add one of these to your fleet, it's just going to add to the job possibilities that you can yes. do. And 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 this can this has been a lot of benefit for people here at Tractor Bob's. And you know, I think there's a lot of people out there that are going to need something like this. So. Yes, there is, uh, there is a, a large number of people out there uh, making real good money using these machines to take on jobs.
that essentially couldn't be taken or you're going to be able to cut the time down so so much that you're you're going to make a lot more money on them awesome thanks brian thank you philip don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and uh, thank you for checking out this video uh, once again this is just kind of the open house special we'll have a couple videos going on thanks brian appreciate it